Jack Bricks here, and today we are taking a look at for me for your Monday number six, I think. Yeah, number six. We're taking a look at all of the 2018 variations of Harry Potter. And keep in mind, I do not own all of these sets. But um, I realize that this version of Harry Potter comes in the comes in both the Aerox Layer and the Hogwarts Express. So, like, hey, what the heck? And also, I'm including this version Harry in the series because, like, I, I don't know what other Ministry of Monday would include him in. And he is from the Lego Dimensions. And actually, let's start with that guy. This version of Harry Potter, and he came in the Lego Harry Potter uh, team pack from Lego Dimensions. And let's, we gotta admit, this version of the wand is terrible. I'm so glad they updated that for 2018, as you can see right here, this version of the wand. And then, also, he doesn't have anything really exclusive about this version, even though with LEGO Dimensions, they said everything is exclusive about the figure, besides the fact that they changed the hairpiece up, which I kind of wish they came with a newer design, I, I don't know. But, eh, I'm just glad that they changed up the hairpiece a little bit, and there goes my studio, it's, it's falling over now. And also, let's turn around that face punch at you disapprovingly. And yeah, that's really it for this figure, there's really nothing else to say. Yeah, besides the fact he's got a pretty nice base, and I like the Hogwarts thing on there. And so here is the Harry Potter that comes in the Hogwarts Great Hall set, which is a very beautiful model. I have no idea when the heck I'm going to be going to review that. And um, it also comes in this one little cheap little poly bag that um, has been released, and it's exclusively Target, so you can buy it there. And I really have no idea where else you could get it from, besides the fact of getting it from Target. But honestly, you could buy it from like the Quidditch match, because both it comes with both Hermione in that set and Harry Potter. And honestly, it, it's really just not that hard to come by. But um, it also includes Hegwig in the set and the face prints on the other side. It's basically him like freaked out. And if you take a closer look at his face prints, they actually got the star correctly on there. I'm actually shocked they even focused goodly enough. As you can see right there, it like shows it perfectly. And the hair piece, which is a really nice hair piece, like fits in there perfectly. It's where like the scar perfectly fits in there. And I'm shocked they even found that right like that. And um I'm really glad you even can. Wow, well, sorry about the non-focusing. And um I'm just really glad that you can that comes with like plenty of Hogwarts outfits where you can create more and more Hogwarts characters. Did I mention it comes with Hedwig? Okay, from this point on I'm not even gonna turn around the face print because it's like the same one for every single time. Mostly. And um as you can see it comes in this is the version it comes in both the Aragog Slayer and the Hogwarts Express. This version is not exclusive either, which is kinda terrible. Because that version is not even part of the um Hogwarts Express scenery since that version from uh, Prisoner of Axe Command. This is actually the version that comes in the uh, I mean, it's hard to remember <laughs> these movies. Uh, what is this one called? The Sorcerer? No, I don't even remember what it's called. It's a Chamber of Secrets. There we go. And did I mention that the new wand is very nice and it's a closer look at the Corso printing right there. And as you can see, they put a lot of detailing into that. And also, when you turn it around, it's got some more, even good, better detailing on the back. And they made sure that they made this figure top quality. And the new candle that comes with is also a very nice piece as well to get. As well, another really great figure. Yes, but another thing I forgot to mention is with these is that I did, I did not include that one little micro figure because, like, there's literally no point in, because, like, I don't know. And, um, and plus, I don't even, like, own that set, and that set really hasn't officially came out yet, I would say. I mean, it's exclusive to VIPs, which I am a VIP, but I just don't care to get the set at the moment. And this one is the one that came in the Hogwarts Whopping Willow, and, um, the jacket design on there is exclusive and very nice in detail. And I could say that this one has a different accessory, since this one comes with, like, a briefcase, I would say. Excuse me, and there are actually two included with the set, and I'm so glad that they updated that piece for Newt Scamander in the Harry Potter minifigure series, and as you can see on the back right there, you got some more torso print, back torso printing, another really good figure overall. And the last figure that that came in the, like, regular Harry Potter line is the version that came in the, um, 
the Quidditch match is another really good figure again comes with the same hairpiece and the torso is exclusive I'm pretty sure and I mean it comes in with like three of like two another figure just one other figure that comes in the set and um, as you can see on the back he comes with this really nice back torso printing right there and this new snitch mold here is a really awesome mold and I love that piece so much and as a whole another really good figure and if you can take a closer look at the front torso right there and I always like getting the short white legs and also have the nice broomstick as well it's another really good figure in my opinion okay and probably the most oddest but is definitely a good inclusion I would say is the Harry Potter Brickheads and as you can see right here it uses a new mold for the glasses which actually if you like turn it it like he like looks nerdy like look he looks like derpy right there in my opinion I don't know he's got to have it perfectly on there and I like the scar print on there and also the one by one brick right there with the Gryffindor logo which is a really good print dang and I also love the scarf print, which is not exclusive, it comes with uh, Ron Weasley as well, so that's not exclusive. And I like how they use like the older style one, which is such a, such a cringe piece at this point, but it's a nice inclusion, I would say. And as you can see, there's really nothing else going on on the back, really. And that is really it for the regular line of Brickheads, and now let's take a look at the left. Okay. That's it for like the original line for like Harry Potter this year. And also next let's take a look at the two figures that came in the minifigure series. And so here's like the regular suited Harry and um as you notice I've actually used that for my sig fig with like Lego Harry Potter set. And you have noticed with like the girl sig fig, like one person is just like why you have a girl sig fig? Am I not allowed to? Like boy. Like, I'm, a, I'm allowed to. Like, I mean, I used the Hermione torso for that version of my stick fake. And I don't know where the hair piece went. I, I don't know. So I just used my other Scarlet Witch face print. And, um, yeah, I really do like this figure. I just, it worries me a little bit because, like, the torso and legging, like, legging, wow. The leg print is very nice. But it just worries me because, like, will there be, like, will this stay exclusive? To, like the, these this set or they just like reprint this like they did with like Robin from the Lego Batman movie line and then like throw it in other sets in the future I don't know and also you can see right there they got the um scar right but for some reason they just used the Lego Harry Potter hair piece that they used from Dimensions that takes me off but whatever but I also do like the inclusion another Hedwig but not just kind of getting annoyed because Hedwig comes in almost every single set now so <sighs> anyway, okay, let's move on to the last figure. And that is the uh, Invisibility Cloak version. And I love, love, love the face print on there, which is just the one. This is like a basic, like, happy version, I would say, of the, like, regular line version. And another great way to get the hair piece. And if you flip this up from the Invisibility Cloak, which doesn't make it invisible, so, like, it's false advertising. Kind of like what that video I made the other day. And as you can see, he has more backwash printing and backwash printing, which is a very nice printing right there. And as you can see, like his wand is able to fit out there perfectly. And let's take a look at that cloak piece. So the cloak is just like really nice, like felt design, I would say. Like it feels really cool and it looks really like a, like illusion. And I love this printing. Like, ooh, that's some like look at how much detailing they were able to put into just like a little piece of fabric that would never get used again like that is such a cool piece in my opinion i don't know i just love this piece and honestly i would have to say it's like one of the best like pieces in a while and like just like cape wise i would say and yeah that's really it for the set of figures and now let's take a look at all the figures all together and so as a whole, I really do like this set of figures. And there's really nothing like to say like a, like a final verdict, I would say. But like, it's weird. Like I said, it did not include that little micro figure. But I'm not even going to show you a picture because like how bad detailing it has. But um, 
if you really want to know why I made like the girl version of the sick of my sick fig, <laughs> I'm not allowed to. First of all, and second of all, um, is to get because boys and girls both play with Lego, so to get both gen genders is that is that disgusting? No, it's not. It, it's not. Um, get both genders into my channel. Make them you know, make a boy and a girl sick big, but that doesn't really have anything to do with anything because I'm allowed to, right? Right. But anyways, um, one other thing I forgot to mention: tomorrow is my first day of school. Yeah, not. I mean, I'm excited. I like school. I I'm like in the top three. I, I'm not bragging. Hopefully, nobody watching this actually knows what like my 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 top 10-ish thing is is but I don't know but um I was just gonna make an entirely separate video where I'm like eh, the heck with it um but uh, I'm just gonna start with, like I get out of school like about 245 and so you can like expect the video between like 3 and 9 ish if there isn't a video by then then you're probably not gonna see a video that day so um just so I'll let you know that and also or it might be like super early in the morning if you get up and like I gotta post this but, yep, and there's really nothing else to say for now, and yep, that's really it for, like, my channel update, I guess, with this movie feature Monday, so, yeah, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow on my first day of school. I'll see you all that goes. I have no idea what the heck kind of video I'll upload then. <sighs> Hopefully I can upload that Brookhead's reviews. I tried up uploading that, like, Saturday, and didn't even upload, I, I don't know why, but, um, that's basically why my video didn't get uploaded Saturday, is because, like, like the internet was being stupid. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please smash the like button if you did. And subscribe if you're new. And also hit that bell to get notified as soon as I post a new video. And which will not be as common as it used to be. And, yep, that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.